Awesome. Thank you for your attentiveness. Uh, your, your, honestly, your information on where you're at, super encouraging and cool. I mean, we need more artists like you doing that thing that um, is, is really, is almost, it's genre bending, uh, but yet, but yet really connecting to our past. I, I think that's so important, man. I mean, coming from the Rock and Roll Hall, I'm literally wearing my Rock and Roll Hall of Fame shirt right now, coming from Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland Rocks, man. And like, if we don't really connect with our past, we're in trouble. We, we just are. And so I, I appreciate your, your insightfulness to that, that journey. And I'll be watching, man, because I, I really think it's important. I think Thank you're onto you. something really cool, man. Um, very, very yeah, cool. well, maybe on that note, let me, uh, let me uh, do a quick show and tell of what I received in the post this morning. Would love to, yes. 45 ah. RPM. <laughs> nice. Joni Mitchell, Free Man in Paris from 1973. Oh, yes. So yes, if you, yes. If you know that song. What? What? Yes, I do. Keep talking. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's about like it's it's basically Joni's kind of tribute to David Geffen it's about it's about David yes. Geffen who was the head of some records oh, oh vinyl crate look out uh, let me see here where is that this is my I Johnny Cash this is my guy's my 45 of uh we turned water he turned water into wine and daddy sang bass um where is my my favorite though Oh, where is it? Where's my baby? And I know this kind of doesn't go back too far, but this is my, my. Oh, uh, double fantasy. All right. Well, you know what? It's, uh, still, it's still the analog age, you know, like that was. It is. Like from, it is. And there's a. So there is a thing about vinyl, and and so this this gets into language that, like, one of the things about modern culture, about the industrial age, is that, um, like, we're, we're uh, basically convinced uh, or, or encouraged to live in a verbal reality. If we don't have words for something, we we tend to kind of disregard it and think it doesn't even really exist. But one of the th so, and one of the the phenomena of uh, of rock and roll, which I think the spirit of rock and roll is, is uh, like a spirit of, of like vitality of like, uh, like, yeah. like visceral kind of um, like, like mediation with the world. And, yeah. and uh, the digitization of music robs rock and roll of, of, of that spirit. It's like you're hearing mm. it from behind it, like a, 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 like a glass pane. And with vinyl, and like that physical pushing of air that happened in like with somebody doing something, hitting drums, yes, and like, like, yes, like, yes, like banging out a power cord or you know, like playing like the, through a Vox amp, right? <laughs> yes, like so the, the moving physical, air, moving yeah. air, so that moving air physical action gets translated perfectly across an analog chain. And what, what you have there in that crate is the end product of, of that pushing of, of, of air physically. Yes. Okay, it hasn't it hasn't ever been abstracted at any point in its creation. So it's you put that stuff on those those musicians. That art is there in the room with you. As yes. soon as we went to digital with CD, it got abstracted. Yes. Wow. 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 Agree, man. Super cool. Wow. I, we should <laughs> we could probably go on for hours talking about these things. <laughs> Yeah, very, like is, very, this is, very. This cool. is important. So, like the, you know, like understanding that um, that there is a like a, a visceral intermediate intermediated reality that we that mm -hmm. we have to engage in, we have to confront. It's part of the experience of being human. Is is, yes. is something that we've lost and desperately need to reconnect to. And it's like, only going to get more confusing as the metaverse begins to come into fruition. And especially the younger generations that are even coming up yet that will be born and grown into this idea yeah. of a metaverse. And that's where you spend your time, which is literally sitting on a couch doing nothing. Exactly. Exactly. And experience are, things that are honestly true are honestly the people, real. The people that know that something is missing We'll, we'll like we'll start to look for for, for an exit sign and mm -hmm. and like what what I offer is an exit sign 